Kinisizwe Kondile, one of the many unsung heroes of the liberation struggle. Many who knew him say his political will and quest for the fight for freedom started at an early age. They say his dedication, bravery and selflessness are the cornerstones of a democratic and non-racial South Africa. This year marks 40 years since Kondile's death. The family says his recognition gives them solace. It continues to give closure. Now that uh, uh, my brother is, is being recognized for the role he played in the struggle, in the liberation struggle, to free, to free this country. In as much as it brings back the memories to think of how I wish this had happened in a life time whereby all my siblings were still here because it was very disturbing, especially for Upo Teti, the one who comes after him, my brother Teti, as well as Ulindiwe. It disturbed their lives, even their health, up until they passed on. The healing process is, uh, is sometimes uh, you, you get healed by being, sometimes a wound being poked. So this is a good poking in that sense. It's a good poking. It's uh, something we 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 we, we you know we, we we're glad of, and also we would like to thank uh, his friends, his comrades, who made the recommendation. Kondile's brutal murder in 1981 by the apartheid police shocked many people. Tozamile Majola, a comrade and childhood friend, recalls the times they spent together in exile until his final moments. He deserves what they are giving him now. Since we suffered, suffered from some of our own comrades. Chris came to tell me in Angola what had happened to Sizu. Chris himself. I didn't know. This was not easy. But I'll always be proud of Trenyan. He was a man and a half. Very strong, very straight. Come. Majola has also called on government to give more recognition to many fallen and unsung heroes of the struggle. I hope what they are giving Caesar, it will be stored to other gallant heroes that made this country to what it is today. That's what I wish for. That that can be bestowed to many of our comrades that really lost their lives. You know, I was speaking to students from Forte. They are asking me, who was Spear in Forte? Do you know Spear who? Spear was Sizwe. Sizwe was inside Forte, running Forte. All the writings, we were sending them to him in, from Lesotho. He was distributing them. And, but nobody didn't, the students there, they didn't know who is this Spear here. President Cyril Ramaphosa will bestow the national orders on deserving recipients next week, Thursday on the 18th of November. Rwando Nomoi, SABC News, Kabeha in the Eastern Cape.